Hello and welcome viewers of this video guys. My name is Chris. You can find me on YouTube as Pooped Up Cheese. And today we're going to be talking about five tips and tricks to ensure that you are getting the most money per time played in Red Dead Redemption 2's online game mode. I hope you're having a fantastic day. If you're not, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter, Instagram, or any of the social media links down in the description. Now I'm going to warn you. You may already know about most, if not all, of these strategies. But rather than sit still in free roam for 10 minutes and discuss them to nauseam, I'm going to spend about 2 minutes on each strategy, going through the ins and outs of how you can make this strategy easier for yourself. The first tip in today's video is going to be for some, arguably the most efficient way to get a large chunk of cash. If you're level 20 or higher, you could already be sitting on a chunk of at least $600 or more. Reaching level 10 is going to get you your first treasure map. You're just going to have to travel to the post office when it's ready, pick it up, and explore the surrounding area. Your controller will vibrate when you get close to it. Now, there's another less commonly known way to get a treasure map, though a lot of people still know about it and there are plenty of tip videos out on YouTube discussing how to do this. The second method to get a treasure map is going to be to loot enemies. You can find a treasure map off of any given body, but they're pretty rare. Take your time to dispatch as many enemies in gang hotouts and loot as many enemies in the story missions, and you'll get yourself another map in no time. Looting enemies is also going to come in handy for tip number 4, so you're going to want to do it as often as possible. It may seem tedious, but in the end, it's going to be worth your time and money. If you're having trouble finding the treasure, feel the vibrations in your controller get faster as you approach closer and closer. Use Deadeye to locate the yellow beacon, and you're on your way to your next bundle of money. One bug to look out for while treasure hunting is that the chest may actually not even spawn in the yellow area. Search the area thoroughly and if you don't feel any vibrations it could be bugged and you may have to reload the lobby. While looking for one of the treasures I actually had to reload twice. Just make sure you spawn in a similar area in free roam and you should be good to go. After level 10, make sure to regularly check the post office for treasure maps. You'll get one every 5 levels at 15, 20, 25, and so on. Tip number 2 in today's video of how to get more money in Red Dead Redemption 2 Online is going to be hunting for quality and not quantity. Deadeye is going to prove very handy when using this tip. You're going to want to track animals with 3 stars in the bottom right of your screen to ensure that you're getting the perfect pelt. Gunning down a buck for example with a carbine repeater or pistol is going to degradate the pelt. You may be wondering why your seemingly perfect catch is turning into a $1 exchange. The placement of a kill shot on an animal is also going to affect the quality of your products. Rather than sprinting at your prey and gunning it down like a Neanderthal, take the time to sneak up on it and line up a good shot to the heart or head. For rodents, squirrels, and birds, you're going to want to use the varmint rifle to ensure the quality. Another thing to note is that bringing back a perfect carcass rather than just the skin and parts is going to get you significantly more money. I got $10 for this perfect buck carcass. Selling the meat from the carcass gave me another 3 and the antlers brought me near $15 for one animal. One of the best spots to farm for a variety of animals is going to be the Lagros Marshes. This area is home to a large array of different expensive birds, crocodiles, as well as boars. Variety counts in this instance because you can only carry up to 10 alligator meat and 10 alligator teeth. Find your perfect predator and turn them into a pricey payout. One swift shot with a bolt action rifle to an alligator's head is going to ensure the carcass stays in the best quality possible. Ironically, selling the perfect egret carcass is going to be about the same price as selling a perfect alligator skin. Fill your inventory with different boar meats and fox pelts from the surrounding area and in about half an hour you can walk back to the shop to trade in for about $30. The third tip to gain money in today's video is going to involve becoming an efficient fish farmer. Travel to spots like this along the San Luis River on the map and you'll find a large amount of steelhead bass. Now, there are hundreds of different videos existing on YouTube where YouTubers are using clickbait titles to fish for likes faster than they can catch a sockeyed salmon. By the way, those are found in this location up north by the Window Rock. While most tip videos I've seen make me think that fish are going to be jumping right out of the water and into my wallet, that's just not the case. 
keep your eye out for groups of bubbles displaying your swarming school of salary, and fill your pockets with some sockeyed salmon. Say that 10 times fast. Using worm bait is going to be an inexpensive and crucial way to catch these first two types of fish. Before the December 6 patch, they used to bring in $4.25 a piece, but as of watching this video and so forth, they are only around $2. Bringing in 10 of them is really only going to get you 25 bucks. Luckily, if you're still watching this video, I'm going to show you a much more profitable fish to catch after the patch. Navigate your way to any general store in the game, and you'll find yourself a nice swamp lure. It's going to be rank locked at level 30, but you can expedite the purchase by holding LT and spending a gold bar to get one. Make your way back to the Lagras marshes mentioned before, and pull out your fishing rod by the docks. Using Deadeye with your fishing rod equipped will display some swamp behemoths. Mastering catching one of these big boys is going to be well worth your time and money. It's going to take you about 5 minutes to fight and reel in each one of these monster fish, but after doing so, you're going to feel like a young Jakub Wagner. Google it. Then when you come back, let me know how many guides on YouTube show you how to catch a 20 pound lake surgeon. That's right, this guy was trophy worthy. Now once you perfect the strategy, it's going to run you a roundabout route of about 10 minutes. Taking the near $10 into consideration from the fish and the various alligator parts you get while in the swamp, you're going to be netting about $20 for every 15 minutes. Lake sturgeons aren't the only 20 pound fish you can catch in Red Dead Redemption 2 online. If you have a spare gold bar, purchase a river lure and fight with the channel catfish. The one detriment to catching these colossal creatures is that you can only store one of them on the back of your horse at a time, similar to a carcass. These river dwelling beasts are only going to run about $5 to $6 per catch. Break a horse in the wild and bring back two at the same time. Don't worry, I'm coming up with a guide on my channel soon on how to catch the prized 20 pound $8 lake trout. The fourth tip in today's video on how to acquire a large sum of cash in Red Dead Redemption 2 Online is going to be simple but effective in the long run. Loot everything. Whether it's a gang hideout or discreet shack that you pass by every single time you go into town without realizing it, you're going to find tons of provisions inside. Rather than spend hundreds in the shop on health tonics and provisions to increase your Deadeye and stamina, loot these things out in the wild for free. If you remember back to tip number one, I talked about looting NPCs to find treasure maps. Stealing from these characters and their belongings is going to be an effective way to acquire a large sum of jewelry. If you're having trouble locating these caches, just use Deadeye and find the flashing yellow boxes. You can find black market traders that will accept these stolen goods in various places across the Wild West. There's fences in Rhodes, St. Denis, Emerald Station, and near New Hanover. You won't get much more money than you would for an animal part or hunting adventure, but some of the platinum items can be up to $3 a piece. The fifth and final tip in today's video is only going to apply to those who have played the beta before December 6th. Rockstar is refunding players for their cash purchased before the balance update, and just logging in before December 14th is going to give you $250 and 15 gold bars. Logging on frequently, staying up to date with Rockstar's forums and patch notes, and remaining dedicated to the product are always going to ensure you're finding the quickest way to make money. If you learned something new in today's video, leave a like. And if I forgot something, and you found a faster way to earn money, leave a comment down below. I hope you have a beautiful and positive rest of your week, and I'll catch you in the next video.